Antifa and BAM stand down in Berkeley. Hey, it's Prince of Queens, and I was just tuned in to Tim Pool's live stream earlier today where Ann Coulter was supposed to speak, and I think she did, along with Lauren Southern and Gavin McInnes of Rebel Media in Berkeley, California. By the way, everybody should go subscribe to Tim Pool as he is a very smart dude that is vehemently nonpartisan on his his channel, and he does great field journalism where he goes to protests and stuff and gathers interviews with people. So, what did I see? Not a whole lot. It seemed like the small crowd of people who were there to protest the event, or should I say the protest which was spawned because I believe the event was cancelled, it seemed like the people who were there to protest the speakers might not have even been Antifa or part of the BAM cult at all. Nobody really seemed to have their faces covered. They were attempting to engage in conversations with people they disagreed with about things, and even more than that, there was a definite police presence this time. Probably because the mayor was caught aiding and abetting the Antifa violence by telling police officers to stand down, and not disarming the black-clad rioters like they did to the free speech rally attendees last time. It's a very interesting development because we can assume there's plenty of Antifa members and BAM cultists that would have formed the usual violent, angry mob if they had been given orders from their superiors to do as they had done in the past. So I have to wonder what led to this development. Knowing that the Berkeley mayor is both in contact with Antifa directly, as well as BAM, as well as being supported by their leaders like Yvette Falarka and Shanta Driver, perhaps the mayor gave them a direct order not to protest? Or maybe the mayor just said that in order to protect his reputation, he would be sending police officers that would arrest them if they came with their usual antics. Maybe Antifa was just scared. Maybe they knew that they were going to get their asses whooped again. Or maybe they are saving fuel to try to go to Kentucky, because I have heard that they are going to try to attend some sort of legitimate alt-right rally or something soon. But more so, what I found super interesting was that some of the conversations that seemed to be going on at the generally nonviolent protest actually seemed like they might be productive. Sure, I think maybe a few people got arrested by the very attentive police, but I saw at least one guy who I don't even think was a Trump supporter trying to talk sense into the angry activist student types, explaining that the only way to move forward from here is by having dialogue, and I couldn't help but feel that he might have actually gotten through to some of them. I'm not really sure, but I can't help but think that this might be the turning point in 2017 where people calm themselves a bit, wipe the dirt off of their faces, and think to themselves, well, this is the America we live in, let's actually see what it's like for a bit, instead of just charging into battle against people we disagree with. Perhaps now is the moment in which people might start to enjoy spring and summer. Maybe this is the change in the cultural zeitgeist that we have been waiting for. Knock on wood. That's all I have to say for today. Drop me a comment, help me out on Patreon if you enjoy my voice, and stay tuned.